Hello, this is Alan Curry for Viper Darts. I'm just gonna go through the Viper League Pro. This is what you get with it. You get the dartboard. The dartboard, a set of darts, brass darts. Uh, you get the toe line so you can measure the length from the dartboard to the hockey. Get uh, two sets of chalk, a duster, a scoreboard, and a little mark for the floor to show you where you throw from. You also get wall mounts and you get these. These are how you actually mount the dartboard. So I'm gonna go through this now and show you how to actually set the dartboard up so that you can mount it on the wall. Okay. So when you get your dartboard, you're gonna get this little set. This is the mount for the wall. I'll go through that in a few minutes. Uh, these are the brackets for the wall. And what you're gonna be left with is these. And I'm gonna show you how to put them on now, okay? Okay, so I turn the dartboard round. And if you look closely at the dartboard, you're gonna see three holes on the outside. One, two, three. And that's where these little rubbers go. And you get little pins and you get little rubbers. And then in the middle of the dartboard, you have another hole pre-drilled and that's where the main is gonna go. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. You put the rubber over the pin and the pin in the hole should fit and then you give it a little tap fits perfectly that's that one done and then the center hole you're just going to use a phillips head screwdriver and you're going to screw it in well, here's one i made earlier i always wanted to say that it's not actually it's the board you're just saying so we have the dartboard ready ready to go so now all we have to do is mount it on the wall okay so uh, Viper, with the Viper dartboard, you get what's called the pro line. So this allows you to measure exactly the height and exactly the length of weight that you want to be. So what you want to be is five foot eight inches. So there's a measure on this exactly five foot eight inches. So I'm going to show you how to do that and I'm going to show, that's to the bullseye. So I'm going to show you how to do that now, okay? Five foot eight inches. You're going to mark it. So you have it perfect. And that's where your screws are going to go. And that's where that main screw at the back of your dartboard is going to sit in there. And that's exactly five foot eight inches. And you know the usual, measure twice and mark once. There you go. It's only a little bit of tack. Go in. Screw those in, okay? Do a little because that keeps it closer to the wall. So now your dartboard is mounted. But all the time I'm playing darts, I've yet to find a dartboard that actually sits flush for whatever reason. So, what you do is a little tip bits of cardboard in behind it, you stick the cardboard in at 18, 16, and 2. It'll sit perfectly flush. I'll show you what I mean now in a second. So I have a sheet of cardboard, and of course the best cardboard you can use for this is Viper cardboard. Now, perfectly mounted dartboard. So I'm going to show you now, with this pro line, I'm going to show you how to measure where your throw line is. I've measured out twice, and with the pro line, I know that this is seven foot, this is nine, and this is a quarter. So Viper give you the throw line, which again is very good. And this is for standing behind quite literally. So I'll show you how this works. You have your mark on the floor, seven foot nine and a quarter, and you put this down. So you know where seven foot nine and a quarter is. What do you think? That's very good. 